going on a hike today. Woo -hoo! We're hitting Diamond Lake in Nederland, Colorado. It's about an hour drive from my house. It's a gorgeous drive. It's going to be an absolutely gorgeous hike. Tons of wildflowers, a gorgeous lake, mountainous views. I know on this YouTube channel, I've been starting to provide you with quick workouts, but I also want to provide you with content of the things I do on a daily basis, how I cultivate joy and live my best life and do the things that I love to do. And I also want to show you how beautiful Colorado is in the mountains. I think lifestyle content is really important, provides others with a different perspective on life and how others live. I was listening to Rich Roll's podcast with Robin Arzon from Peloton, and it was amazing. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. She's brilliant. And she said something that I absolutely love. She was talking about her superhero tools that she has in her toolbox. And I love that. And I want to share my superhero tools with you as well. The things I do to cultivate joy. And I want you to be a part of my world. Life is about living and having fun and becoming your highest version and living that on a daily basis as much as possible. So this YouTube channel is gonna provide you with quick workouts, different recipes and foods that I absolutely love. I'm plant-based, so I'll be providing you with plant-based nutrition, mindset work, meditation, all of the things that I implement daily to live my best possible life. And you can do this too. Here we go, we're going on a hike. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments, is this stuff you like? You just want the workouts? You like the meditations? What do you want? What do you look forward to when you come to my channel here on YouTube? It's a rocky road to get to this trail. <laughs> We're bouncing all around. But it is gorgeous. 55 degrees, pure sunshine, blue skies. Ah, I can't wait to get out there. All right, so I thought we were getting here early to get a spot close to the trailhead. However, not so much. <laughs> Man, people get here early. We left the house around 6.45 and got here around 10 to 8. Note to self, leave the house at 6. We had to park about a mile away from the trailhead. That's okay. It's gorgeous out and we're going to get an extra two miles in today. Can't complain. Look at the view. These girls are ready. Okay, we're still not at the trailhead, but I'm starving. <laughs> now this is not sponsored. One of my favorite snacks, I've already ravenously opened it up. Lara bars are super delicious. There's literally two ingredients in this bar, cashews and dates. So if you're looking for a quick snack, grab yourself a Lara bar. I'm glad I brought a ton of food with me because I feel like I could eat it all right now. All right, here's our sign. It says Diamond Lake is two miles. I'm suspicious about that, to be honest. You are here. We are going to Diamond Lake, right here. For the July Trailhead. Okay. So a friend from many years ago, taught me to always have an emergency kit in my pack. No matter how long the hike is, just carry it. You just never know. And to also pack layers here, mountains of Colorado, like always have a fleece, always have a rain jacket, always have the essentials. And since then, I've never left home without those things. And it's super important to do the same. Even if you're just going for a couple miles and you think what could happen, you just never know. And I can't tell you how many times I've needed to either use my duct tape or my lighter or my fleece. Even in the middle of summer, you just never know in the mountains here what's gonna happen. So this is a great example of what should be in your pack all the time. Pause this and write this down. Screenshot it, do what you can. Always have these things with you, no matter what. All right, on that note, let's go. Let's do this. Which way do we go? <laughs> Probably this way.
absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely breathtaking. I love this state. All right. Okay, come to find out, all those cars are not here at Diamond Lake. They must be backpacking. I just spoke to a guy. He said, there's really no one at Diamond Lake. There was like a group of a couple people and that was it. So I'm excited to get there. Yeah. Okay, change of plans. I just met a couple people on the trail and they highly recommended to go to Arapahoe Pass. So we are no longer going to Diamond Lake. We're gonna go do Arapahoe Pass and Dorothy Lake. So far we've gone three miles. I think we probably have another mile to go. This is gonna be an eight mile hike. What started out to be a five or four mile, five mile, has turned into an eight mile. Love it. Oh boy, you guys, look at this view. Uh, camera doesn't do it justice. So massive. We are so small on this planet. It's unbelievable how minuscule we are in the grand scheme of things. Like, we worry about what others think, how others judge us. If we might mess up and, I mean, who cares? We're, we're, we're like nothing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're just a speck of dust. We really are a speck of dust. So I was forewarned that the bugs, mosquitoes at the pass are horrendous. And I'm starving. So we might stop here and have ourselves a little picnic. So we're not up at the pass getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. We're not too far, about 20 minutes, and 3.24 miles in. I made a buffalo chicken wrap with tofu and panko and sprouts and lettuce and red onion. I can't wait to eat it. It's gonna be so delicious. Probably gonna fall apart because who brings a wrap up here with buffalo sauce on it? It's probably already falling apart. We'll see. You guys, one more thing. Phoebe here on the left, this lab. Phoebe. How old are you, Phoebe? 11. 11 years old, Phoebe. You are killing it, girl. You're freaking badass. Let's go. She just knows what we're going to, a lake. That's all she cares about is getting her rocks. Kicking ass. Petra here is mine. You're doing great also, Petra. Two badass doggies. Many years ago, I did the same exact hike 
And you have to be really careful in Colorado with the weather because out of the blue, you can have massive thunderstorms, lightning, it's very dangerous. Hail at these altitudes, you could die. It's very scary. So you have to be really prepared and go early so you're not up at altitude in the middle of the day when the storms come in. But one time, <laughs> it's probably in this exact spot, the sky opened up and a massive storm came. I will never forget it. it scared the shit out of me. It was hailing. Gosh, Phoebe, were you there? It was Phoebe, yes. Phoebe was there, getting pelted with hail. I don't remember exactly what we did, but I feel like we sprinted to below tree line, which was quite the sprint, if you can see. It's going to be delicious. Broccoli sprouts, lettuce, buffalo chicken, tofu, red onion. Mm. Lunch with a view. Another favorite treat are some Mary's crackers. Super delicious, healthy, satisfying crunch. And the dogs love them too. Hi Phoebe. Guys, I am tired. <laughs> My legs are burning. <laughs> We're almost there. It will be worth it. I know it. We're so close. Come here, guys. Come here, Phoebe. All right. All right, we made it to Lake Dorothy. Look how gorgeous it is. Unbelievable, that was quite the trek. Phoebe got some rocks, we hung out for a little bit. Awesome. All right, we're on our way back. So we were five miles in. Five miles back, see how long it takes. We're at three hours and 11 minutes. Probably spent about half an hour at the lake. Here we go. So what, a six mile hike, a five mile hike turned into a 10 mile hike. <laughs> Gotta love it.
right, we made it. We're just getting to the parking lot. So we're at about eight miles and we have a little under a mile to go to get to the car. It was about a nine mile hike. That was legit. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to walk tomorrow, but it was worth it. It's gorgeous and I can't wait to put this all together and create a little video for everybody. Happy day. Oh, and the parking lot has barely any cars in it. <laughs> all right, we're almost to the car. 8.6 miles. You don't realize how far you park until you gotta walk back after the hike. Oh, I can't wait to get in my bathtub and then do some yoga tonight and get that little ball under my feet. Oof, man. Kind of feels good though, <laughs> to be honest. Very sore, but feels good. My body needed that. Can't let it get old. We made it, we're back at the car. That was an awesome hike. Pups are wiped out. They'll be sleeping here in two seconds. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this adventure and comment below what you wanna see more of. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.